Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Battletech Advance 3062 with no fair fight. Today we're fighting smugglers and you will learn about the Valiant, a 30-ton machine that is an oddity. So we're fighting smugglers, we're fighting turrets, that is not bad, not good. On the good side is that turrets don't move, so they're relatively easy to hit. On the bad side, turrets normally have more firepower per ton, of course, than mechs or vehicles do. We take full loot because, look at that, the payment sucks anyway. Um, with that being said, our um, lance is ready to go, so we'll see each other on the field. And here we go, they do not expect a lot of defenders, that's good, because I'm um, a bit of tired of being outnumbered in a Harvest Girl mission. There aren't any nearby reinforcements. Yes, beautiful. Okay, so it's all the way down here. Ooh, where could we go that we get a good line of sight and they don't? That looks like a big rock, so maybe we should go over this side. Let's have a look, have a look, have a look, have a look. It's a little bit hard to maneuver. We could go all around the way here, but the sad thing is... Oh, this looks interesting. The sad thing is not all of our machines have jump jets. So we might not be as um, free in our attacks as we want to be. We're relatively close to the enemy. So if, we're, if they spot us or if they have someone that can spot us, they will fire at us with their long range missiles, no problem. But we're here to talk about the Valiant. What is the Valiant? Well, techniques, the technical data first. The Valiant is a light mech. 30 tons with an average speed of walking 7, running 11. And if you use Kiss Mask system, it will go up to a speed of 14. However, always be aware that mask is a risk. With that being said, let's see if, if the Jenner finds something. Because I'm absolutely sure these guys are not alone. No, they're not. Oh, that's no, that's a turret. Okay. I cannot get a line of sight, can I? No, I cannot. It's still out of range. Uh, I don't want to get that close. Because I'm pretty sure they still have some mechs lying around. Although I can't see them. And just one turret is hard to believe could take that out relatively easy. Okay, there is the turret. We should move and then see what we can do about that turret guy. So the Valiant is an oddity is that it is built um, relatively new. It's not a Star League era design. It is a very, very new design. It has been built by a special company that normally do not build mechs. They're called the, let me read that from the papers, the Vining Engineering and Salvage Team, West. Not to be confused with DEST, because DEST is the uh, Draconis Combine Military Special Forces. And that's something completely different. These guys, um, well, they drop on you in some kind of battle armor, very, very light battle armor, and then they slaughter you in close combat with knives and stuff like that portable ghost rifles oh look at that they've got a tank and it's fast like lightning well it's harasses so it's supposed to harass us oh that is bad because that thing is armed with close combat weapon and i hate these but so far i don't see any more mechs that is a g edgar only tanks. Interesting. Not what I would have expected. As for armor, the Valiant in the tabletop version carries 5 tons on, on of armor, which uh, is 80 points. That is okay for a 30-ton mag. It's not gigantic, but it's okay. You can have worse. Um, however, its armament is special he's got three er medium lasers in left torso right torso and the head so interestingly enough no weapons 
in the arms as far as shooting. That is because he's got a hatchet in his arm. Or in his hand, so to speak. That's a closed combat weapon, very, very effective. The idea of closed combat weapons is not new. There is the Buccaneer, there is the Axeman, the Hatchetman, the Berserker, and there is even a Traconis version that carries a sword. <laughs> I'm not making that up. There is a Traconis version carrying a sword. Okay, I think... Can I, can I just stomp on you? Because I think that's the best thing I can do, and I really hate this thing here. Okay, you're, 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 you're gonna get stomped. Simply because with this defense, I'm unable to hit him. If I live, let him live with that many flamers, we're in trouble. And we don't want that to happen. No internal damage! How did that work? Well, it was internal damage, but nothing else. So, good idea here to put the uh, weapons of the mech not in the arm. So you lose, of course, the um, firing angles, but you gain survivability because you can fight even if you lose your arms the valiant has another problem it is actually produced by two companies because they split up and now nobody is sure who's got the rights on the machine so there is a lawsuit in game ongoing over the valiant I first encountered the Valiant when I was playing uh, Mech Warrior Dark Ages at the tabletop game. There was the Valiant. It, it is absolutely a gorgeous machine. It looks really nice with its little shield and, and ready to go. Very, very good machine. Can I just stomp you? Because I think I should really... I should stomp you. Can I stomp you? Because that would be really important. Ooh, chances of hitting and stomping that thing are not very high. And But what we would do theoretically if we stomp it from the side, we'll do enough damage to give him internal bleeding. And that is very nice, so we'll do that. Even though the chances of hitting are very bad. Well, not bad. With 46%, it's better than shooting anyway at this speed. But we really have to deal with this little flamer guy, because if we don't, we're in big trouble. Yeah, of course we miss. R N Jesus takes it and give it away. Okay, um, we should absolutely sprint forward and start hitting people. This is the Centurion; he can take a beating. The Valiant has no jump jets, which is really hindering his performance in my eyes. Um. I would rather like him to have some more. What is that? Yeah, we had totally have to kill that thing. Oh, come on. That was kind of useless. But we have the heavy hitter here. He's the he's the real McCoy. He's the one that gets the damage on, right? Well, not really, because our chances to hit are pretty bad, and we're most more likely to hit our own machine than the enemy. We have a lot of movement, though. And I think we should take out this turret first. It is not destroyed. How is that even possible? Honestly, I didn't see that coming. Can you stomp him? Because if we don't stomp him, we're dead. If we go there, they will shoot us in the back, right? Cannot have that, sorry. Could go up here, but chances to hit are miserable at best. Chances hitting this guy are bad. Could go after him. Chances aren't that bad. We're better in closed combat than they are, right? The only problem is that we're opening ourselves up to um, advanced... If there is anyone else here around ready to kill us, that would be a problem. There is another vehicle there. Okay. Important thing is that we take out the turrets.
The question is, what is our little guy doing? And that they have no max is, oh boy. A mongoose, now that's a rarity. So the Valiant is not widely spread because it's only produced recently and it's uh, produced by two companies that are not that big into manufacturing um, at all. However, it is a really, really capable mech. The Valiant in role-playing game is, of course, excellent because it's got the shield and the axe and the uh, laser weapon. He's on excellent radar, able to carry supplies away, able to accomplish all types of missions. In the tabletop game, he is also great, no problems here. Um, good range, good damage, close combat, never a bad thing. For a 30-ton machine, yes, you might chew more or bite more than you can chew, but still... It's, 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 it's manageable. The speed is excellent for a 30-ton machine. The armor for that speed is beautiful. The Valiant K7, which is the original variant or the first variant, is an excellent machine. There is a 3J, which has a flamer, and there is another version, the 3T, with uh, a little bit more armor especially in the legs, I think it is, which could be a problem. But please keep in mind that the um, the armor statistics uh, are given for the tabletop game, not for this game here, because uh, in this game here, of course, the armor is a lot better. So, I think we should go in hot and heavy. I really don't like our chances of hitting here, because they're miserable to non-existent. Um, but we will only destroy our enemies after we've dealt with all the security around. Because I don't want to fire at buildings that cannot fire back when I still have enemies around that can fire back. That would be foolish. So that thing is relatively heavily armored, so better we go into Vigilance. Because that thing has two SRM6s and a medium laser, which is a lot. Terrible performance by my art. So far, sadly. And the good thing is, if we fire anything astray, it's not a problem. Because all the buildings are not ours. Who cares? That's the good thing. You can spread like wildfire. Good to go. Yes, we're good to go. Uh, do we want to get that close? I'm not sure. Depends on the mongoose, but the mongoose is pretty much out of the fight already, so no problem here. Um, I see no reason to sprint, honestly. I mean, this isn't great, but we just want to get close enough to shoot the guy. No, we're not. Oh, we could go here. That's interesting. Because then we'll have some protection. And we have a chance to shoot. That's fine by me. Beautiful. Our general already made an episode on the general. One of my most favorite mechs. Excellent machine. Skimitar. Not that big of a deal. Pretty bad hitting chances. We only need a little bit more on this guy here. But as we can see, the hitting chances are terrible. But before we do nothing, we do something. And if we hit the buildings, well, good as well. We're fighting Comstar, so we could normally expect a lot of lost tech. Because that is what Comstar is all about. They are the preservers of knowledge. They have all the cool stuff. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Is there... An entire lance to support them? That would be really bad. Because so far we have just dealt with um, tanks and turrets. Okay, maybe we should disengage depending on what they're sending us from here. Because fighting the turrets and the mechs and the vehicles, that's a lot of trouble. An Ignis, okay. Not concerned. Vehicle Flamer. 
If that is the weapon, why did it fire on us with rockets? Think that it was him, not the Ignis. But we have good chances of hitting the Ignis because of their bad defenses at this point. So we should go over here. Maybe even over here. And say hello. Oh boy, you're kidding me. Did you see that armor class? If we move over here, what are they? Oh, the hitting chances are perfect. I think we have to destroy the vehicle in close combat because if we do it any other way, uh, this will not end well for us. Wait, there is a mech hiding. A royal mongoose. Ooh, royalty among us. Great. Pure armor damage. We should be falling back. The clever thing would be to fall back and not engage. Because we're clearly outnumbered. So maybe that is what we should do. Good chances of hitting here, bad chances of hitting there. No chance of hitting that. Actually quite bad chances of hitting this guy, even though he didn't move. So I think we'll fire indirectly at him. Because there is only a little bit of damage needed to take that thing out. No use, sadly. Okay, can we flank around and shoot something? can go here and take out the turret. I think that's a good idea. I'm, I'm really worried by this turret because 10 uh, medium range missiles, MRM. So those of you who know only 3025 would think what is an MRM? We know SRM and we know LRM. Long range missiles, short range missiles. Well, this is a kind of a thing in between. And there it goes down. Beautiful. Yes, you do, but we should fall back because these guys are coming for our hides. And there is another mongoose. How many mongooses do they have? Mongoose is a Star League era mech, if I remember it right. It's a very, very light, very, very fast machine. So we could, should, we should reserve. Let them come and then retreat. Because going on the offensive is risky. The enemy only has one turret left. That's this one here. But one mongoose, another mongoose, and there is the harasser again. But I think he's out of range. You're kidding me, right? Holy cannoli. Oh my god. That is another mech. So congratulations, we're outnumbered again, because why not? Okay. Interesting move. Not a lot of movement on your side. We could flank around the other side. Depends on what he does. Oh, he's not moving. That would make him a valuable target. He's a light machine, he didn't move. There's one thing you should know about Max is move, move, move. That's the only thing you can do and should do to protect yourself. You will not win by out tanking the enemy. However, that is a lot of damage coming our way.
Okay, the Ignis is fleeing. Okay, it hurts me. It hurts me really bad to say this, but I think the best thing we can do at the moment is fall back and um, let them come to us, those who want. Because in a straight out fight, they have more firepower than we have. Yeah, no, that is not even a chance to hit. You're not the fastest in the team, but you're fast enough to do at least something. We could go here and fire a little bit, although I would not know at what. So we're not doing that. We're sprinting into the uh, woods. Hoping to draw the enemy out. Away from his friends that we... Um, You are very, very far forward. That is too far. That's okay. Yeah, no shooting, no run, uh, just running. That's our idea. The mongooses are fast. They should be able to catch up with us easily. And when they do, we have them where we want them. Uh, we don't want to give them our backs. Like this. We could even fire on some of the buildings just to make them mad. So when you look at the Valiant, you might get the idea that he's very, very gladiatory. And that is, well, that's... I think he's from Solaris, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. It's weakening hard, sir. It's weakening hard. That is a little bit risky because we're now relatively easy to hit with our Centurion. However, if someone is here in the team that can take the damage, it will be him. And we want damage, so we fire. Beautiful. That should make them mad. Yeah, you should not rock. You should fall back as well. Oh, we could get high ground. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Just give me a second. So, well, that was a lot of running. Um, whom do we fight? I think this one here is a good choice. Oh, yeah. Let's see if they come. I'm sure they will. Why does this machine look like something from Portal? The video game. Okay. Yeah, chances to hit are pretty bad. Hmm. If we run closer, chances. Oh, wait. We could get up the hill, couldn't we? I think that is what we should do. Gain higher ground, get better shooting chances. Because among goose with that many defense values we cannot hit. At least not to any effect. However, that thing we can hit. Oh yeah. And if we destroy their buildings, we win, even if we're not able to take them all down. Um, we 
could jump, but we don't want to. We want to go up. Remember, you up, they down, you get a bonus to hit. Beautiful. S 100 points. We're not doing that much damage, but we have to start somewhere. And they will not all be going for us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Long range missile party. Okay, okay. We want to go up as high as possible. And if the vehicles go up here, as good as well, because then we can just kick them to ashes. 50, oh, that would be a waste. We fire at that thing. Oh, yes. The good thing is if we destroy the buildings, we could even abort and we'll still get paid. So far I count four, three mechs. All of the mongoose. I do not have a lot of close ranged weapons. That is a problem. Ow. Okay, that was probably the light tank on the hilltop on the other side. That is the G. Edgar. Jesus Christ! He's fast! Congratulations, young sir! I'm impressed. Yeah, no way in hell you're gonna hit me on this distance with this evasion. No way in hell, sir. What is the little guy doing? I bet my butt he's going all around. No, he cannot. There is no way he can get through that. It's a hover tank and hover tank cannot get through a uh, woody terrain, wooden terrain. No way. Well, maybe I asked for more than I can chew. Okay, can you shoot? How, how well is he armored? Oh, Goodness me. We could just... Oh, hitting chances are pretty bad. But shooting chances are pretty bad as well. We could run up. Sprint there and shoot them. I would like to go into close combat, but let's be honest, that is not a good idea considering the amount of failure that is involved here. Because look at that, 69% chance to hit, 69 I'm simply not that good at close combat, and I only do 40 damage. Well, it is the double the amount to tanks, but still it will not be, not be enough to... Um, to kill that guy, will it? And I have to deal with him. I have to deal with him. If I go here, my defenses will be horrible. Okay, we're not doing that. We are simply not doing that. Because if we do, our chances to hit are bad. Our weapons are not strong enough to overcome their armor. We could shoot at him. The Ingus. Okay, chances. He's very heavily armored. 
We can shoot at him. We only need one strike at the head. So even though that sounds not pretty clever, that's what we'll be doing. And we did hit him, but we didn't hit what we wanted. I could stomp you for a lot of damage, sir. But then I will get whacked, right? I have no interest in getting myself whacked. Hitting chances, however, are terrible. I could just... Well, it doesn't matter that much where I move, because I, I will not be having a lot of defense anyway. I could, could sensor lock. To hit better. Yeah. Not sure that did a lot because I don't think we're able to hit anything anymore. Maybe we can take him out. It's it's quite a kind of a luck shot, but what else can we do? Get into vigilance because you have moved so little you're an easy target. Yeah, miserable. As expected, miserable. That is the second mongoose. My only hope is that the tanks stop moving that much and allow us to kick them. We could run and kick him or we run up here high as hell and shoot him with everything we've got and still got a good defense. Which I think is the better thing. Yes, going in would be uh, more glorious, but we're not here for glorious. We're here to get a job done. On the other hand, though, what is his armor 35? Might be. And all the, all the tanks, all the rockets missed. There is the another mongoose. Don't panic. They're not that heavily armed. The tanks are our problem, not the machines. We're totally okay with the machines. I need more point defense weapons. Where are you going? Does that even make sense? Are you trying to reach my deployment zone? That was stupid boy, because you just lost your evasion. Which means... I will slaughter you. Oh boy, will that hurt. The other one got to my deployment zone, but there is not a lot he can do. But there is a lot we can do to this guy. If we're able to hit, which we're not. And cleverly, he just showed us his other side. Okay, you are not a mongoose. Oh, that is the flum. There are many different versions of flum. I mean, not that many, but that's still still a lot of them. Okay, what is the best I can sprint? I could go here. Very good hitting chances, comparably. And I really want to kill this tank. Oh, damn it. Well, 
Good defense, good defense. Depends on what he's doing. We use our speed. We use our maneuver maneuverability. Oh yes, that is excellent. Combat in movement, movement, combat. Beautiful. Let's simply not hit each other, okay? That would be very, very important for me. If the uh, mongoose get close, we rip them apart. Okay, let's make this count. Again, it's just armor. We're firing. What is that? I think that thing is only a 25 ton vehicle. There comes the Royal Mongoose. I like you. I want you. I will get you for this. Okay, got no idea who that is. That is the Ignis, armed with machine guns, I guess. Very bad defenses at the moment. Maybe we can use that to our effect. Oh yes, we can. That thing is absolutely horrendously well armored. But... Fine by me. Ah, uh, I'm not that happy. Can you sprint? It is okay because of the gorse. The gorse might hit, but... And we've got some defenses here. I mean, shooting this guy is fun, but... We have to keep an eye on the heat. And remember, we're mercenaries. We're not here for a glorious fight. We're here to kill and get the booty. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't have that much ammunition for the ghost rifle, though. Normally, it's more than enough because, well, we're fighting... Let's all be honest, we're fighting clan style here. Oh yeah, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. That should be enough to get you. Come on, don't let me down. And beautiful. That's okay, that's okay. Vehicle kills are good. Geothermal, not clever because you're using um, energy weapons, are you? And you didn't move. A oh, well, he moved quite a lot. Didn't look that much. But apparently it counts that much. Okay, we could go up here. But chances of hitting aren't that good. Oh, chances of hitting him are pretty good. Okay, can we go somewhere where we can shoot you better than that? Like this. 50% chance to hit. That's actually quite quite impressive. Yeah, why not? I mean, 50% is, well, half of the time. And we don't want the commando in the first line because uh, we're not built for that. Okay, make that one count. Do you even know where you were shooting? Or were you just guessing? I think he was guessing. Okay, if the mongoose comes any closer, we're clubbed. Okay. That is what I call very, very defensive. You are a little bit nuts. Maybe not because he's, he's in our back. And 10 damage is a lot when you get it in the back. 
especially with the heat. Uh oh. Uh oh. That is bad. Okay, can you just, you know, kick that guy? Let's hope we can do this, because this harasser is going to be a problem. You are a disgrace. And he had two chances to fight that thing off. One with the kick and one with the shoot. And he failed at both. Oh boy. That is a stupid idea. But I'm running out of good ideas, am I? So you will punch you 71% chance to hit. Come on, you can do this. Still not enough to kill it. Honestly. Oh. Oh, you like it close and personal, do you? <gasps> He's in my back. That bastard. Nice move. Nice move, sir. I have to give you that. Absolutely, astonishingly nice move. No questions asked, but we have to deal with this guy now. We cannot take this guy out. We're in trouble. Okay, he's dead. Good work so far. Falcon. We could shoot him, but our chances of shooting that thing are miserable at best, right? Yeah, sadly so. Um, we could shoot at that guy. We should try to get on higher ground maybe this and then shoot him or him yeah, I think we shoot at the royal whatever royal mongoose good choice come on yeah, no use. Sadly, no use. Okay, and we're in pretty bad shape. We should be running. Um, could be running here and giving everything to that mongoose. Or to that guy. He has flamers and everything. But we have better chances of hitting the mech. Our back is open, so we absolutely have to deal with that vehicle next. Taking that guy out. He is a small laser, medium laser, a large laser, so... That was a miserable performance. Well, if they're letting you down, they're letting you down. Oh, he's retreating. Which I totally understand. That is more than you can handle, small one, is it? Okay. Is there any chance you can help me with that thing? No, chances to hit are miserable at best. Okay. Go 
I cannot outmaneuver the uh, the guy. That's impossible. The um, Pegasus tank here. He's way faster than I am. We could fire at him, but he nearly has no weapons left. So he is not a threat. He is, and that thing is. However, chances to hit are pretty bad. I think that is something you kill in close combat. So we'll be firing at him. Oh, we can increase our defenses a little bit because we will be on the table. And nothing. He is just stressed, which means he m might hit a little bit less well. Okay. We could sprint up here and give him hell as well, because that's what we're here for. Maybe if we concentrate fire, um, we can make him to punch out, but I don't think so. But if we're all together, we can next turn stump down the Pegasus. Whoa! Nothing! Yeah, missed, which is the German word for crap, as well as the English word for I do not hit. Impressive maneuvering, sir. Well, that's a flum for you. Glad it doesn't turn into a strike fighter. We want to keep mobile. Actually, we want to make good decisions at high speed, but I see your point. He's already in bad shape. Yes, he's panicking. Beautiful. What is your idea, sir, now that you're panicking? You're charging. That is an unusual panic reaction, if I may say that. Not what would I have, uh, what I would have expected. It all depends on what the little guy does next. The Pegasus hover tank. Oh crap! This is gonna hurt a lot. Yeah, I'm out of, not out of range because then he wouldn't fire. But, um, what is your armor in the back, sir? Who is coming to their help now? Did the Pegasus just flee? It's a bit hard to believe. That thing is fleeing. Okay. We could fire at the mongoose. Hitting him is almost impossible, but hitting that guy is very, very possible. So that's what we do. Always strike at opportunity when it presents itself. Yes, he's in the woods, so he will get less damage, but still, we will be okay. Die, you will. Yeah, of course, that's a stupid idea because the guy is not wounded, uh, is uh, already almost out of everything. But still. Can I get a little bit more to the side, perhaps? Yeah, that's beautiful. Or I could shoot him in the. Oh boy, no, we're not hitting anything here. I'm not sure how good it is to destroy um, or to shoot the mech down that is the least threat at the moment, but yeah, I like it. Oh, oh, I must have heard a lot. Oh, yes. We could fire that guy in the back, but we're we'll not be hitting anything. We could fire at him, but 
will not do anything. We can fire at him, but chances to hit are miserable. We could go up here. Chances to hit are not that. Can we jump into a position where we could have some fun, perhaps? Like this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Jump jets. The one and only. Sir? Die. Oh, I'm really open in the back like hell. Didn't know it was that bad. Uh, your armor is very, very thin, sir, in a lot of places. So it would actually make sin to punch you. Chances to hit are really good. I mean, if I hit, even if I hit center torso, I will do good damage. So let's just give it a try. I, I was more hoping for the leg, honestly, because the lo leg would have helped me a lot more than that. Oh, guess who's running for his life? Okay, that's their still intact mongoose. Does not have, seem to have double heat sinks because he's very, very hot. Yeah, he doesn't like me helping the guy, obviously. The royal mongoose is running away. Like a chicken! Well, actually a clever move because he lost most of his weapons. Okay. We could punch you because your armor is so miserable. And that's what we should do. 35 damage. That is not enough to do great damage right but all their forces are retreating I'm running out of targets so that's what we do and small laser yes The good thing is we'll all be in the woods and we'll all be with our front to the enemy. Ooh, that was dangerous because it was shooting in our back. That was not a nice move, sir. Uh, how well is... You? Oh, you are terribly armored, right? Yes, you are. So guess what? Now this that now it's a brawl. Now it's officially a bar fight. And the good thing is if they're trying to help their friends, they will shoot their own man. Unless they come into close combat, which I don't think they will do. Oh, I forgot about the AC2 tank. <gasps> that thing again. I hate that thing. And the Ignis is coming back, which could be a problem because the Ignis is a close combat specialist. Excuse me? No flamer has that range. No way in hell you have that range, sir. Okay, I could punch you. 
Chances are good, and he's not that well armored, so that's what we do. Sometimes you need a little luck. Killing the Ignis will be hard. We've got internal, but no use. We could shoot, but we'll not do a lot of damage. So what we'll do is we'll punch that guy hard. Yeah, when you get punched by a Centurion, that hurts a lot. However, no internal damage, sadly. We're open in the back, so that is not the most clever thing to do. However, uh, oh, we could, could sprint up here and shoot that thing. I want to stay a little bit out of combat because our back is open and we're using an XL engine. So this could end pretty bad for us if we do this the wrong way. And there's still this SRM6 guy around. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm better be cautious. Yeah, shooting them breaks nothing, but shooting that thing would be great. You you had no idea where you'd be shooting, right? You you never missed hit anyone with that ghost rifle, right? Oh look at that, he's back. That is a bad idea, man. That was not nice. Can I shoot you? Ah, but the chances to hit are pretty bad. Um, but if this continues to be a brawl, we might not be winning this, right? I mean, look at the armor of that thing. We have opened the brawl. We must finish the brawl. Yeah, that's no use. No, no, we're brawling, so we're brawling. Can I brawl you correctly, please? Yeah, that should be his end. The problem is we don't have a lot of speed defense now. Okay, he's out. One salvo ship apart, but that's not a problem because there are three mongoose all over the place. Okay, he's going to close combat as well, which makes sense. But he misses! Good work. Why are they all after the Jenner? Don't tell me you're still in the fight because I'm pretty sure you're not. Okay. That is a strange target in my eyes. Um, I should mud hit you. Oh crap, that was stupid. Because now I have put my back to the enemy. Oh damn it, I'm gonna pay for that, do I? Okay, that was the most stupid target you could have taken. Uh, 
Okay, we could hit him, but we want. No, we want, we want, we want to finish off this guy, right? Oh, he has nearly no movement. He's a really easy target. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. That's outstandingly beautiful. If I sprint, if I jump, if I jump here, very good chances to hit and I'll shoot him right in the back. And I'll be out of trouble, which I like. Well, the hitting chances are not that good anymore. Yikes. Okay, it all depends now on the Ignis, what the Ignis does. But not moving, moving our Valkyrie in that position was fatal. Yeah, well, it's not enough armor. That's the problem. That is the simple problem. And we didn't activate Vigilance, so we will not be able to... Um Did you just... Did he just hit his own machine? Okay. Um... We should get on high ground and give him hell. Well, we have very, very good chances of hitting that Ignis. Acceptable chances hitting this guy. Could go over here. I mean, he's not dead, but he's in trouble. And we've done our part of um, closed combat. I have no idea how to deal with the Ignis, I'm honest. That thing is so heavily armored. Um, any? We destroyed the heatsink. Great, that is all we did. Okay, you will go around here. We get on high ground again, because the hill is our friend. Mark my words, the hill is our friend. Die. And he's out. Beautiful. That means we could either um, concentrate on this guy, which I think is the right choice. It has no nearly no weapons left, but that would only mean that it would go into close combat with us. Damn it, he's not dead. And our Valkyrie is not out of trouble yet. Okay. Um, I really, really, really have to kill that thing. I could run up here. Ah, hard choice, hard choice, hard choice. We have to deal with the... Above all else, we have to deal with that thing. I hate fighting the vehicles because they can take so much damage. The frontal armor of that thing is 200 points. Our only chance is that we hit the... Um
the turret. Yeah, but that does nothing. We do nothing to that thing. And our Valkyr still has the back to the enemy. And there comes the Royal Mongoose to the rescue. That is not that much of a problem because the enemy does not have so much firepower left. That was a good move, yes, but not brilliant. I could jump up here, shoot him or him, or go here and shoot I cannot shoot. Why can I not shoot the other guy? So, let's get ready. Take out this guy for me, okay? Nothing! Oh, damn it. That is the SRM guy, right? This is gonna hurt a lot. Okay, that I didn't get. You are the AC2 tank, but why are you going into close combat with me, sir? Okay, we could just stand and deliver, but of course that is not the best course of action. I cannot, I, I can only jump, I cannot sprint anywhere. But that's okay, that's okay, movement is king and we can do movement. Oh boy, we're not hitting anything, are we? The only chance we have is hit that guy. Let's go into defensive, because that might be a target for them. Nothing! No joy. Yeah, that's sad. No joy. Who is joining now? That is the Skimitar tank with the SRM-6s. He's making a run for it. Can you blame him? Oh, there is the Ignis. He's making a run for it as well, which is okay with me. Because that leaves the rest of the punks for us. You're not that well armored. Oh, you, you are well armored. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. Chances that that is successful are not that high, but that's the best thing I can do at this point. Eighty damage. No use, though. My 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 will be my will be will so be done, my friend. You would not believe it. I should go up here and shoot that guy out of the equation. I could have gone into close combat too. The Centurion is a close combat fighter. Remember, tonnage is close, dom close combat damage. Yeah, he's panicking, but that's not helping. That is simply not helping. Chances to hit are bad. Chances to hit are good. Let's shoot him. We have to take mechs out. We have to achieve numerical superiority. Somehow. And? Yes, beautiful. Now, the biggest threat is the tank in front of us, because I'm pretty sure that Royal Mong... Oh, he still has a laser, but he's making a run for it. He has had enough. 
Okay, then we can all concentrate on the scimitar with everything we have. We will trample that guy down. We will smash him to smithereens with all our might. That's what we're going to do. Makels cannot panic, though. They have no morale or anything like that. They're just proud of what they do. I could jump here. Ah, oh, but the chances of hitting anything are terribly low, right? Could just stand and deliver, but that's not never a clever plan. So we're going and shoot everything at him. Yeah, chances to hit aren't great, but Wow! Never underestimate internal damage on vehicles because they explode very, very easy. Okay, we could shoot mud nud shoot this guy in the back. Chances are miserable. But we have to do something. And that is the SRM version, so it's never a bad thing to get that one out of the equation. We have internal damage, but very, very little. No use, though. How badly are you damaged, sir? They have the Ignis, okay. He's coming closer, which is good. Yes, he can flamer us then, but we can stomp him. And we're good at stompy stompy. Yes? Oh, his defenses aren't that high. And we'll do a lot more damage if we just shoot him, right? Then that's what we do. Because there is still the SRM-6 tank around and we don't want to um, anger that one. Oh, come on, honestly. I await other things, like that thing dead. The enemy still has one tank at two, three tanks and... Wow, he's just, he's just, you know, he's just taking it right to the face. Everything we throw at him, he's just like, okay. Give me more. And I'd like, I'm giving you more. I'm giving you all I have. Although, of course, I'm missing with the Gorse Rifle. That's the only weapon that can penetrate that guy's armor easily. And guess who's back in the fight? Guess who did just remember what he's here for? <laughs> Oh crap, he still has a large laser. Okay, um... Yes, we could, we should, we mud. If we sprint here... If we sprint there... Yeah, we're getting somewhere and we have to get this guy out. If we don't get this guy out, we're dead. So that's what we do. Come on, he ha already has internal damage. There should be something we can do. No, of course not, because why should we be able to destroy a tank with all our firepower? Oh, and Gets, who's growing balls again. The Pegasus is back. Wow, is that guy fast. Okay, I want... 
want you to move as fast as lightning if at all possible. Can you jump? Yes, you can. Yeah, we'll be getting hot, but we can take it. We can take it. Still not enough. Sadly, still not enough. Damn it. Can you run behind that guy and shoot him in the back? Miserable chances. Okay, we're not doing that. Can you... Just punch that guy? Because the chance is better than hitting by shooting. And we're hot anyway, so we need a distraction. I'm not complaining. I'm not. It's not like chances were perfect. Can you please, please stump that thing? That would be really important. And I haven't yet dealt with the guy with that mm, large laser, by the way. Nothing. And I'm not fast enough to, you know, do anything about that. Because he cannot reach the target, but he could get this guy. Okay, let's bring our guy forward. Maybe they're firing at the Centurion, which would be good because that would um, ease the pain a little bit on the others. Vehicle destroyed, excellent. He's out of the fight. Okay, we could stomp you, but then we'll be shot in the back. We cannot have that. Um, we will reserve. Okay, we cannot reserve anymore. Should have known that by the first one. We couldn't jump up here. The chances to shoot these guys. Oh well. Screw it. We're choosing. We're shooting that guy. Maybe we hit someone with a ghost rifle once in a lifetime. And better do our vigilante because. Yeah, you'll never know where that guy's going. No! We fired with everything and hit nothing! What is your plan? Please, please run away. That would really help me. Thank you. Smash that. No, no, smash it from this side. Yeah, do it. If we can destroy him, we basically won. And out he goes! Beautiful! I obviously do. Where is our enemy? He's there. Chances to hit are terrifyingly low. Yeah, chances to hit are miserable at best, so we're firing that thing. Excellent. You. We could go absolutely hunting. Finding out about the last turret. 
So there is only the mongoose and the turret left. We can do this. Reinforced building, 100 hit points. We're not able to take that down, but we're able to do some damage. Okay, we will sprint forward and help with the destruction. Let's hope we're not destroying our own machines by accident. But we're up high there, down there, we should be okay. How many hit points? 80. That would be a waste. Yeah. You know what? Don't fire the ghost rifle. Perhaps we hit something with the ghost rifle one day. That is not a barn. Okay. Let's speed in. Never forget, there still is a turret. We have no idea what that turret is. But our luck is an AC-20 turret. <laughs> okay, give it everything. Uh, I don't want to leave. I want to finish all these jerks off. Okay, he's not he's not even thinking of acting against us, which is strange. But we got this. Yeah, chances are miserable, but what? You're now telling me I hit. What is that bogus? The Royal Mongoose, without any arms, closes in. I think he wants to kick me. And he hits. And he hits with the laser. Screw you. Yeah, I cannot hit you, but I can punch you. Because you opened this fight and I'm gonna end it. In your face. I've got a fist. Oh, guess what? He was using uh, XL engines. Now, who's confused about that? I'm not. Okay. The enemy has only the turret left, so what we're going to do is take that turret down. And then we won. Because I'm not letting anyone have the loot. Okay, let's find out what it is. And it is... A sniper turret with AC2s that I miss, although I have excellent hitting chances. Okay, what is the most I can do? Get over here and give you hell. Because if we fire from two sides, we're not killing each other. If I get too close, I might kill myself. Well, that turret cannot take that much damage, can it? Well, obviously he can. Okay, you move forward and then we'll fire the LRMs and that should basically take him out of the fight. Come on. And we won!
Very good mission. Oh, we get a flat out bonus payment because we destroyed the lance. Minimal internal damage. Not a lot of experience though. We got the Royal Mongoose. 66B. Used by the Star League Royal Regiments, constructed around a powerful XL engine and using weight saving technologies. Extremely fast, but also carrying heavy armament. I like that. I really, really do. AOE flamers, machine guns, um, medium ranged rockets, vehicle flamers, beagle active probe cores, ferrofibris, a lot of stuff. But we should get a lot on top. No, we don't. Crap. The question is, how long for the repairs? One day. Totally fine. Good. Good barracks. Everyone, anyone ready for training? Yeah, n nobody's ready for anything. I could get you better at guts, giving you a health point. That's not that bad. But I think we need the sure footing more desperately. Uh, he could go for um, heat efficiency. But honestly, do we really need that? I don't think so. We're okay. So, we're done for today. We'll see each other next time. Bye.